Hello everyone, it's me, your boy Mike, and I'm back with another video of Corpse Party. And now, since last episode we've seen the intro, now this is what I've ended up with. So, um, I, okay, so let, I guess let's just play this game that I liked a lot. I can still do this though. <laughs> no victims, just, really there's no victims? Why not? It's really dark out there. Right, maybe I should check this room first. Wait, is there anything I can do in this room? Like, I can't actually like... Oh wait, I can... I can go forward? Seiko. Wait, we're playing as Naomi. <laughs> I just realized we're playing as Naomi. This isn't good. It's... It's never good. What do you... God. But the thing is, in the OVA, we were actually able to. What? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Why did I do that? HP 33. Heavenly Post. Third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Post school seem to be disappearing. And now, a third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testified a fifth grader, unknown, was on her way home from school but got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. I just realized, this is a Sachiko doll. <laughs> it's literally a Sachiko paper doll. <laughs> Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnap. Di okay, you know, I don't, I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> However, 10 days have already passed since the first appearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. You know, I just want to say, if this is my school, this is going to be one hell of a school. <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a school. Seiko. 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 She's still breathing. Breathing this voice acting. Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. Mm. I can I can never imitate that size. Okay. What's up? What's up? Where... Where are we? What's going on? Okay. So sealed up tight. Is that really what Seiko looks like? <laughs> okay. Naomi. I think Naomi survived. In the OBA. It's clearly a school building, but what kind of school building? <laughs> Elementary school. Yes! Yes. We've got a boy. <laughs> Heavenly host. Then the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi was shut down and demolished. What was happening? Where the hell are we? I have to give him something. Where are all my friends? I miss you. I think the teacher died. Deep breathing. Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Just straight up sorry. Hand in hand. Well, if you say so, I guess. I'm not... I'm not sure if I'm a fan, but... Okay! Just okay, I guess. I'm not even... Like... First time I'm like... I'm shaking so hard. It... 
teeth chatter. Just hear teeth chatter. Okay. Not completely lightheaded. And oh god. Really? You froze on me again? Okay, here you go. I couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my mind around what's been happening to us. I kept telling myself it's all some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it all. What do you think? Like, guys, guys, you guys, just imagine... You're just like in a dream, a nightmare, and all you hear is just silence. You can't move, you can't do anything. I think this is what she's ref referencing. Like, this is exactly what she's referencing. Take it, I have to say something. Anything. Just say it. <laughs> hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out, Seiko says. We can just stand here quaking, quaking, quacking, quacking. <laughs> okay, I just, I just checkmated myself. I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer. Let me just tell you, even though it's a creepy place, it's a happy place. I'm just being optimistic at this point. I still just all see it shut. I don't mean they're stuck a lot. It's like the decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. What if we just take a take a freaking axe and then just break the wall open? Wait, not how the that went out completely wrong. <laughs> that went out completely wrong. Just completely. I let uh, I what the oh entrance my God. that's an entrance way. God damn it, getting outside. Uh, 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 uh. You're right, and it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going all loony in here. I don't even know what that means. Leave the room. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the background noise. The background music. I just want to admire the background noise. Delirious, okay? And I start to go mad, I start to scream, I'll be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put the strongest punch I could manage. Naomi, you... What? Cut the introduction. Direct the eye towards the character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Okay. Here we have Miss Yuishido, 823, an 11th grade English teacher. English. We have an English teacher in a Japanese school, boys. Boys and gals. Hey, yeah. Like a senior high school. Just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impact. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious. And her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant in the homeroom class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with people. When she's in charge, all highs are on her, always. This creeps me out. And then we have this guy, which is Satoshi, age 17, a student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High Class 9. Fairly average but popular, and known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Sounds like my friend. Despite his timidness, his generous but open and shamanist, their sensitivity to well make that. That sounds like Kaito. For some reason, that sounds like Kaito. This Satoshi, I think, is a good character for Kaito. <laughs> But the challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is considered the only person to whom uh, the first, the first judgment. That Naomi Nakash just a year younger. A student in Kisaragi Academy High, class 2-9, and a classmate of Satoshi since junior high. Frequently greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for more spot. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given an interest in nursing, which means she intends to Pursuing as time aiming for medical medical school. That's a good profession. And then we have Seiko, 
a free spirit, she often says nothing that takes her by surprise, though she's easily forgiven due to her genuine good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves the of the house couple. Eiko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams about the future. I'm right now at this point just laughing, because why the hell not? And it's Yuka! Oh my god, you're so cute! Oh, I am so cute! Yuka, yeah, Satoshi, so she's an 8th grader at Kisaragi Junior High, she looks and acts much younger. In which of that household, she's always been the princess, generally getting her away and thus never really shedding her child's like a way. Ah, my mouth. Often is a to act older and braver than she is, and this often gets her into trouble. And then we have Ayumi Shinozaki. Wait, Shinozaki? Fick! The point to represent the Kisaragi class. Oh, you're yeah, the class rep. Often subjects classmates to ghost stories and reveals in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods at her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. Truth, however, I mean wears the repetition as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's. Basically, scarcely her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can bring her out of this fear to state. And then we have Yoshiki Shuni. Yoshiki Kishinuma, age 17. A student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High, class 2-9. Often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if I's involved. Intense drama at home currently works at a part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment, which he lives alone. He lives in an apartment, now let's just get... Let's get on with it, boys! Let's get on with it! Let's get the hell out of here. Wait a sec. Eep. Another earthquake. No. Is it over? Woo. I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. Huh? What? What's wrong? It looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake went the four floors. I cannot cross. I can't cross. What the? The entire place is like... The entire place is effed up. Is there anything I can do? I can't do anything, can I? Maybe there's something here I can use. Like, maybe there's something here I can use. As long as your leg. Oh yeah, I was kicked out with the top. So I might play my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can't walk, at least it should hit on its own. But yeah, but it should put self limb on my shoulder. Yeah, thanks. Wait, did the outside change? The bottom's still the same though. I can't take you out, can I? There's no way I can do anything, can I? Wait a minute! The loose wooden board! I totally forgot that a loose wooden board even existed. Up or down? Try it, you little piece of... Yosh! I can save! I can bloody save! I can bloody save! Main building 1 F Hall. What? <laughs> Just. What? Oh! Tiny shoes! Forgot, your fucking working late tonight. Yep, all the mother of freaking cheap. Uh, that's working some food. Like, you know, half Yeah, I guess you need little something. 
Okay, I made a mistake. The high school and mom all rode into one. I'm sure to about state. Same for you, your mom's waiting for you. Mm. But we'll make it out. We'll make free place. You bet. Just you bet. Just you bet your ass. Go back, you Gabon! Did it gave on? Yeah, take my ingeniousness. Which way? Yes. Classroom to a no go. There's a bones. The bones. Ah. The bones. Oh, who are you? I was brought here against my will. I can't find. Can you find? Can find? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. This school is this reality all. Oh, cut off from the world, you know. So why are we brought here? They brought you. They constantly bringing new victims into the school. Sinless innocence after another. All trapped in here. Doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Who are they? This is a cursed multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence all piled on top of one another. The powerful vengeful spirits. Sachiko. Closed space or perhaps closed spaces. You and we as well are the unlucky vista of the twisted whims. We have all been adopted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I sense numerous ones. What? Does that mean everyone else is here too? Are there... Okay, I wonder. Friends are in this school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that at the time, same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh god. That's such good news. Not... Okay. They're not alone. Haha. Uh -huh. That means Mochida's here too. I'll bet that makes you feel good, right? However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs. So if you wish to see them, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into their space. Escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, oh god, there's no way out then. You said we were going to venture space, right? Who are they? When we're attacking this. Just escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in some in the same space. That alone is fate worth. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your are much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. The door opened. Oh my god! Get the frick out of there! They didn't even Seiko. Huh? Child spirit. It kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There we are. There's a ghost. There's something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. No, no, not. We're stuck in here. I'll be okay. Just know. March on our heads. Heads high. No. No. For some reason, that was extremely ominous. No. 
unknown key. Will I be able to cross through there? There's a save point. Uh, well, that's it for this episode. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll just end it here because like... I am already done so much and I'm literally shivering so I'll just end it here. So thanks you guys for watching, like, subscribe and comment down below your thoughts on this game, this horror ass game and other horror games or any other games or any other genres or whatever the heck should me and Kaito do and um, I'll like, I'll see you guys in the next episode, alright? Whether it be even Blank Dream, or maybe even it being Corpse Party. So, this is Mike. Peace out. See you guys later, and have a good day. Just have a nice day, okay?